you were saying, well, the, 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 well, well, the songs are about heartbreak, about uh, love. Um, is this so deal deal the lyrics with 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 one person? I mean, were you breaking up with someone? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was definitely the 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 genesis of it was that I was heartbroken and devastated and losing my mind. Um, and uh, you know, music. I think for musicians, it's it's not even a choice. It's uh, it's a necessity for uh, for our own sanity. Um, and uh, I always say that at my lowest points in life, music has truly saved me and lifted me out of my darkest moments. And that was all that was there for me was that I was losing my mind. I was heartbroken and just needing to be uh, expressive. And uh, and that's where those first couple songs came out of. And as we start working on the the record, it became. Uh, well, let's sort of explore, you know, I mean, I've not had m much luck in love, so there was lots of things to draw from, and then we wanted to do a song picking up the pieces that was sort of uh, two sides of the story, the, ma uh, the male side and the female side. Um, it just came really naturally. It was, uh, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of things to draw from. Uh, well then, well, one song more. In specific, uh, don't gotta work it out. What 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 was what's it about? I think it's that moment where you keep trying to make a relationship work. It's You've been together, anymore. yeah, and it's sort of that moment where you realize, what am I holding on to? Uh, we don't need to make this work. You know, sometimes you've invested so much time and energy and your heart and soul into something that you're afraid to let it go. So you keep trying to fix something that's broken um, and it's just sort of that song is really that moment when you realize that you don't have to you know and it's maybe just time to let it go and you know yeah I mean I think that's the, the nature of it how long after you've had you've, you've had this realization how long after this uh, thought did you write the song actually for it down kind of um, I think that that was uh, was was part of that th thing because that relationship was one where we had ended the relationship and we every couple months we would go back and try and work on it and then start, and it, we just kept trying over and over and uh, I'd say it was uh, you know maybe three four months after finally saying okay enough with trying this back and forth thing you know what let's just call it <laughs> call it a day but did did it help writing the song? Or were you actually well, already finished? Oh, I, I always think it does because it is, uh, you know, I think sometimes music has the ability to tap into what your subconscious is feeling that you might not be uh, consciously aware of or too afraid to admit. And once you put it into a song, it's out in the open and it's been realized in your consciousness. Uh, and then it becomes a sort of a reaffirmation uh, and then you can't take it back. You've put it out into the world, into a song, and, and then you have to almost live by it as a mantra. Has your ex-girlfriend, uh, does she know the song is about her? Yes, she does. Did you speak uh, to her about it? Yes, I think, you know, especially... I think she fell up on it on her own. I, yeah, <laughs> and I think that, uh, you know, uh, once the songs became very popular in the States, I think she realized that these songs were about her um, and was a little taken aback, but at the same time, I think secretly she was happy to know that there was these, these songs written about her. She's an actor, so, so <laughs> she likes the attention. Famous actor? No. no. <laughs> um, well, um, what can we see in the video of the song? Um, this, it, well, in particular, Don't Gotta Work It Out, the way that we approached it, it's more kind of like a dream state. Uh, you think of like more of the kind of noir film when you're doing something, but the pretense is basically these people never actually sync up. So they're walking along this path, like it's, you know, all of us in the band just kind of walking along this road. This road could be anything. In this pretense, it's the relationship that just never goes anywhere. So you're just you know, walking along this path, you don't exactly know where it's going. 
has really no foundation whatsoever. It's just kind of flowing along. And initially, you see it all kind of come together in the the editing process. But that was that was basically the concept of the video. Just this kind of never ending like tell of woe. <laughs> and for us, the first mo uh, video money grabber was so. Uh we were so happy with the outcome of it. Um, and it really captured an essence and an energy of what we do as performers, but it was so many layers that you never really got a moment to yeah. appreciate Noel or one of the other guys in the band um, and just have them be just alone in the frame. So this video, we really wanted to also uh, to use as a moment to really introduce the audience to each to person, each person yeah. in the band and their essence and their personality. And I think that comes across pretty yeah. great in the video is, you know, uh, you really see who Noelle is. You catch her essence and her beauty and her presence, you know. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>